Hello and welcome back to the Checkpoint Reach podcast. I'm your host Luke Eldon and as ever I'm joined by my fellow gamers and friends Sudden Perks. How are you doing guys? Very good Luke, how are you? Yeah, I'm doing well. Another week? Yeah. Another week. Here we go again. <laughs> again. Yeah. It's Classic. Uh, for Checkpoint Reach, isn't it? Yeah. On camera it now. So. It is, yeah. yeah. Second week in a row. What's that? Um, what is that film? Oh, Tropic Thunder. You've never seen Tropical Thunder? I've, I've seen it, I've seen it but it's a lot of the trailers. Really yeah, it's the one with the trailers, and he's like, here we go again. Again. Because it's like a film for the sixth time. Nah, it's the GTA meme. Ah, yeah. oh, shit. Here we go again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, that one's actually more relevant. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, anyway, we should talk about what we've been playing this week. Yeah. Last week. Uh, you've been... Well, you've got Borderlands. Yeah, I got Borderlands. I know last week I was saying I was maybe going to get it early. Earlier than I thought, anyway, because I was originally mm. thinking I'll wait for Christmas, but I don't know. I just was kind of in the shop and I went, eh, I'll buy it. Whatever. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, the, uh, I've only played for a couple of hours, though, so I can't really give like a definitive. Mm-hmm. You know, I've played, played for like 40 hours, I can't be as thorough as that, but I think I've enjoyed what I've played so far. Yeah. It's Borderlands, it feels like. Borderlands. Well, you say Borderlands. Basically, is, yeah. Which is kind of what you want, I guess. And you said you got it on um, the PlayStation, though, didn't you? So, yeah, yeah. what's the performance been like? Because Xbox still has problems. So far, I'm not having problems, but is it one of the, I'm wondering if it's one of the games the further you go in, maybe the more problems surface? I don't know. I I'm mean, only I, the starting point of the game. Straight so. Away, so, like, I haven't. Nothing that I've noticed that's significant, anyway. So, you can, like, so, open menus without lag? Yeah, I mean, and, there's, there's that little bit of lag, the menu lag. Hmm. But I think that's the game. I don't think that's just. I think the game itself takes a bit of time to load certain things up. Yeah, but menus. it shouldn't. It shouldn't, but sometimes it's like that because it's trying, because the game's trying. The UI sometimes are designed in such a way that there's a lot of things having to load. Yeah, but they've gone backwards because Borderlands yeah, in I the mean, past I, I didn't agree. have that menu lag, no, and now they have menu lag. Uh, no, I think to be fair, I, I've not really had any problems so far. Mm. So maybe it's an Xbox only. I did hear there was problems on the PS4 Pro, so I wonder if it's just the Pro and X then. Yeah, I mean, I I'm the normal the consoles. X, so. I'm just playing the normal PS4. But then, so like, yeah. PC has massive problems. I have no though. idea. I'm not sure. So like, maybe if you played it on your Pro, it would be bad. I don't know, but yeah, true. I don't know. I, I think um, if, if like supercomputers have problems, then I think yeah, it's the other safe platforms are going to have problems. Well. I haven't yeah. so far. Like I said, I'll maybe have to report back next week yeah. when I've played it more, but. The game looks good as well, even on the normal PS4. I think the game looks good. Yeah, what I've seen of it, the graphics look really good. The, the uh, definitely the HDR makes a big difference on mm. this game. It mm. really makes it stand out. I think so. Yeah, I'm enjoying yeah, it so far, yeah. but obviously not much to say. I'm like level five or six or something, yeah. so I've hardly scratched the surface. Even, Whereas so. you've completed, haven't you? No. Yeah. Yeah. And I completed it very shortly after we we filmed last week and I was quite complimentary about the story and the narrative and where things were going this has definitely changed and this has changed a little <laughs> bit like I knew it I'll be honest it's not bad as a concept of, of how things get wrapped up mm, yeah. and this is the way that I've described it if you read it off a script in terms of what they were going for it's pretty good and I think everyone would have sat around the table and said yeah that works really well but the last 15 seconds of the game before the credits start to roll and then when the credits start to roll is it a cliffhanger it's embarrassing no it's so cringy cringy it's like a wrap up to the yeah. that part of the, the Borderlands mm. universe and oh my god it's the worst thing you will ever see <laughs> it, it's so bad I haven't seen a single positive review or comment or video about the actual end and how mm. it happens even yeah, though to look forward to, with the character oh, yeah. and with the <laughs> with the like wrap up of, of that part of the series it's really good but the mm. way they do it is just mm. it's off the mark it's right. not borderlands it, it's okay. like x factor or something I see, I have so seen, I have seen some x factor it's bad it's not like slum dog millionaire is it no but no, just just in terms of the cringe like you sit there watching it and you just think cuz borderlands is the, the way that it's presented and the humour and the style mm. and, and all that it just goes out of the window and they just go completely what? opposite end of the spectrum with the credits and the way the song plays mm. it's mm. bad just and doesn't it, it, Borderlands it's not Borderlands no, it's and it's funny because I, I did a speed run on True Vault Hunter mode to play it through again and to see what mm. I thought of it and I don't think it's as good as you think second time around right and I also went back and looked at the key points from Borderlands 2 mm. 
so like Roland's death and Angel's death and the way that things tie up with Handsome Jack at the end and I've changed my mind Borderlands 2 is definitely stronger than 3 from a story perspective yeah they both have their strong points but I think just the way that it finishes in 3 I mean it's still too soon to spoil it for those that haven't finished it but you say it has a sour taste or oh you sit there and you go what the hell is this (laughs) Like, what are they uh, doing? Like, what did they do to that character? And what did they do with this right, song? Like, it's all yeah. just off. So mm. I've got two questions about it there quick. Because I watched the Angry Joe review on it last night. I don't know if you've seen, you guys have seen no, that. I've seen the review now. But he complained about a certain character. I think Ava? Is her name Ava? Ava's the, a character. The new girl. Yeah. Yeah, he complained about her. What's she like? What's your opinion of her? She, I'll say she's typical. Right. She's a younger girl character that's trying to be edgy mm-hmm. and her character is supposed to be a bit that way inclined yeah. which is fine I mean they can portray characters however they want but so many games include them these days mm. and it's not new and the way that she's forced onto the story is a bit like come on we've seen this before mm, a bit tired now a little bit yeah. so Ava's Ava's not a bad character, but so it's just like, a character we've seen before. You like her more than Hungry Joe did, that's for sure. Um, what about the two villains? He did not like them, either. Yeah, I think... Is it, what are their names? Troy? Troy and Tyreen. But aren't they, like, streamers and YouTubers, yeah. bloggers, whatever term you want to use? Yeah. Hey guys, welcome to the Troy Show, or whatever. Basically. <laughs> I mean, different people have different views on this, especially from what I've seen. I've watched a lot of videos in which people say really positive things about it and really negative things about it i mean to start off it's borderlands so the bad characters are typically going to make you hate them very well Mm -hmm. they do a good job of that and a lot of the hate that i've seen for the for the calypso twins as they're known is they're annoying and they're obnoxious and that's not how twitch streamers or mixer Mm. streamers are actually in real life but they're doing it right and i say to that it's like well that's kind of the point they're not going to portray them as really cool characters that interact with their audience in a really clever Mm. way they are brash they are arrogant they do a lot of things to negatively impact your experience they're supposed to be dicks like that's the thing they reminded me a little bit of um Oh, you didn't play Spider-Man, but you did. Do you remember the character on Spider-Man? She's not in it for long. She's in the DLC, though. The one who streamed live. What's White. her name? Mm. No, Screwball. Screwball. I don't remember that character. Yeah, she streamed Screwball. live, and I, from what I've seen she and really? heard... Yeah, mm. she's been right. like, And she's like, oh, my, my fans want to see you, uh, Spidey. And then it's like uh, a setup and stuff. Yeah. yeah. So I guess it's similar. Well, yeah, that, that's from basically... From what I've seen, anyway. Yeah, that is I haven't the played story. Much I mean, yet. they're the... They're the main antagonists, and you yeah. you sort of back and forth with them throughout the whole of the, the yeah. chapters. Mm. So when things are going well, they're they're doing their little streams and snippets of mm. things going badly for you, and they're trying mm. to tease you and and piss you off like that. It's done in a in a way that when you're playing it, you think, "God, this is annoying," and you think <laughs> it's not actually done that well. Mm. But like again, my answer to that is that that's a good thing yeah. because they're supposed to be. That way. Crap! Like yeah. they're not supposed to be doing a good job. They're supposed yeah. to be bad and make you think, "God, I, I can't wait for them to get off the screen." So, mm. I can definitely see why it's missed the mark for some people. Yeah, because it is annoying and the writing isn't great. But I think mm. it was done that way intentionally. So I think if it's missed the mark, it's not because it's bad development. It, it's maybe just how you they didn't how like you the interpret take on that. It. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's fair enough. Um, so I like to. Do a quick shout out to Iron Brew. Thanks for sponsoring the show. <laughs> and we've also got Coke Zero. And, uh, and as you can probably uh, tell, that uh, no mate. Oh yeah, water. Just just fresh out of the tap. That's <laughs> why we don't get soup. Sure. Yeah, as you can tell, we're not actually sponsored by them, but uh, yeah, they taste good. So there we go. Keeps us going. Yeah. And uh, we're gonna need a lot more of it because I wanted to touch on FIFA 20. Yeah. <laughs> we, it's been a good uh, start. Yeah, yeah, you guys have played it a little bit. Actually, me and you, you definitely played it more than me, but you started today. Didn't yeah, you? I started today. today. Started you played last it last night. night. Yeah, I played it a bit today, and uh, yeah, it's it's different to last year. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, I think to be honest, the first three or four games I saw, you were thinking, eh, might not be too yeah, bad, but, I guess. But we but won then, those games. Yeah. <laughs> and so. then the losses start coming. That's you start though. reporting people again. Not yet. <laughs> No. Oh, it'll come. It'll, 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 it'll come. come. Look, it could have been something today. 
<laughs> no, I don't think so. Like not today. We'll let the game settle a bit first. Yeah. We'll, we'll figure out if, if yeah. we need to. Let them enjoy doing. their time. Yeah, and, and then, then we'll, we'll try and get them back. They'll get got. Yeah, they'll get got. <laughs> it's going to take time anyway because you know this always happens at the start of FIFA, doesn't it? Yeah. You know you have to get used to the game, the way it plays. It's a lot slower. A lot slower. Yeah. They try to make it more methodical. Yeah. And you know they want you to try these passing moves and all that. But the problem I have with the game is. It's all well and good trying these passing moves, but you can't get anyone through on goal <laughs> because the players are too slow a lot of the yeah. time and they're too clunky a lot. They feel clunky, the players, to me. They don't feel... like even. I, I know mean, this isn't club, but even when I was playing a kickoff game at the start when you're installing the game, mm. I, I, the player I can come back to is Jaden Sancho. He feels he doesn't feel like Jaden Sancho should feel. Mm. It's not... like He should be fast on the ball. And, like, he felt sluggish and slow. And every even the good players... You said Hazard feel, yesterday. When we... Hazard as well, yeah. 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 Hazard is another one. Just didn't feel. He, this is even Hazard was talking about one of the best dribblers in world football. Yeah. And he feels like Sluggish. someone playing for an elite two team or something. Don't Why'd you look at him? Don't go there. I was going to get elite one. Elite yeah, one. I was going to say. I was going to say. I was top that. of league one, aren't you? Still cough. Oh, Ipswich won the other day and we didn't oh, play, so we're probably second now. Second. But... We're still unbeaten. Yeah, big up yeah. the mighty cough. Yeah. Jabello. Yeah. <laughs> No good, one's going to know who the hell they are, player. by the way. Someone might. Someone might, but not many. Yeah. We're not that unknown. Yeah, no, come, but, come yeah. on. No, and Jabello is very well known in the French League 2. Yeah. De. Ligue 2. <laughs> if you're a football fan and haven't heard of Coventry City, I'd be worried. No, they know Coventry, yeah, yeah. but they're probably not. not. Yeah. I don't know how that, interesting that <laughs> Either way, I'm not about to play as them on FIFA 20. No. Right. I'm not so fair to not. say. We've already got problems. We don't need to go no, down, to go down, down that hole. I think like it's it's important to stress like we're talking about pro clubs in particular like yeah, that's the mode like that we people. play. Yeah. So we haven't got team. we haven't played ultimate team yet. I've played one played? game of ultimate yeah. team. It definitely feels different to the main game. But it still feels slow. Yeah. It still feels slow. Always well, does feel different. The mode. Well, yeah, like exactly the point I was going to make. Like ultimate team is different to pro clubs, and pro mm. clubs is different to kickoff. It's like there's there's always subtle differences. So. Yeah. I, I kind of want to reserve judgment on it. I haven't enjoyed this morning because we had a mixed record. It, it's mm. never fun when you don't win all the time. No. But I think I'm going to give it another week to to go quite hard on the game and, and see how yeah. I feel once my pro is leveled up and yeah. once we've unlocked more attributes. And, and you stuff. got used to it. Yeah. I, I think as of right now, I'd say it's pretty much last year, but slowed down a little bit. Mm -hmm. And that that is pretty much what you get from annual sports releases. I think that's uh, fair. Yeah. Fair uh, yeah, say so. opinion on the game so far. Yeah. I'd agree with it. I've not played it as much, obviously. And no. you, you've played a little bit more, and you agree. Yeah. yeah. But we'll uh, we'll get started then with the topics that we want to cover today. And yeah. it was the um, the Last of Us two trailer dropped yesterday. It was yesterday, wasn't it? Yeah. State of the play. State of play then. And the game will be released on the twenty first of February, twenty twenty. Uh, we've all yeah. watched the trailer. Yeah. What are our thoughts? You guys, did you guys play Last of yeah. Us one? Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't have a PS3 at the time, so I watched you it watched like it, a so. scrub. You know the story. Yeah, so <laughs> it's yeah. a good game to watch. To be fair, yeah. you can't get to play it. Yeah, I mean, I enjoyed game, it. So. Yeah, it was good. Um, but yeah, I mean, the date was a little. I didn't expect it to be quite that soon. I was thinking more May June time. Like the first one came out in June, didn't it? I think 2013, June 2013. Not so many thinking... games come out in June these days, though. Do they? The Last of Us wanted. No, like now. Yeah, now, like, now it's like. No. That part of the year is typically quite empty. It yeah, is, it is, but I just I just assumed you know middle of the, you know people don't release their games then, but the actual facts are starting to look like maybe people should release their games more in that time because mm. there's so many games if they can dominate up. that space. So many, yeah, exactly because so mm. many games are getting clogged at the end of the year. Games are suffering because of it. Mm -hmm. you know? So I expected it to be May or June, but I, you know I'm not moaning because you get to play I'm it, looking yeah. forward to the game. Yeah. So February's good. Uh, yeah. It's a good time of year. What um, do you think of the trailer? I liked it. I mean, it's kind of what I expected. I don't think there's anything unexpected in there. Well, apparently, Joe being I mean, alive jo Joel is being alive. Uh, Joel, I, I... see, that shows that I watched Joe. it. Joe. Joe. <laughs> yeah, no, Joel being alive, apparently yeah. that shot people. It didn't shot me. I expected him to be alive. No, like, I, I, I don't quite understand this, like, I saw people, you know, on Twitter, like, oh, you know, he's back. He's back, and it's like, I can't believe it. It's like, what, really? I can't believe <laughs> yeah. it. I mean, it's pretty it obvious he was going to be, gonna be in, in the game. Yeah, the way the first I mean, one ended... Yeah, who's obviously going to be it would, a have been, it would have made yeah. no sense if it was just like, oh yeah, Joel died. Mm. Like, okay. Well, that's what I couldn't get yeah. with all the speculation. Yeah. You know, after the first one, where yeah. you just kind of fizzle out into that new part of the world, and yeah. then the first trailer we saw with with the people getting hanged, yeah. I wish I was them. It, <laughs> we didn't see Joel. Oh, God. So, uh. 
Every, everyone just assumed, yeah, Joel's gone. And that, if, if anyone played the first game, to just have him disappear and say, mm. hey, you're Ellie yeah. now and forget about Joel, that wouldn't have sat well That'd with anyone. Shit. That would have been, be really been shit. That would have been really shit. So I'm, I'm glad he's there. Let's let's be honest, if you do get to play as him, it's only going to be a small part of the game. Probably, yeah. Thought, because they've, they've put you into Ellie's shoes now. Yeah, yeah it looks like it's uh, very much her story now. Yeah. Yeah. So, well, it was her story anyway. It was kind of it through Joel's anyway, eyes, yeah, wasn't it? Yeah. So, yeah. This is more her. It, it's obviously just going to feel a bit different playing mm. as her, but I, I'll I'll hold off on that one for now. Yeah. I'm, I'm not particularly looking forward to to the change of character, but, but you compared it off camera to Clementine. In terms of, <laughs> well, no, I I, I just meant... you said she was likable like Clementine. Yeah, I don't think Ellie's an unlikable character. I mean, you two I obviously did, disagree. No, I don't. I can't disagree because I watched. Oh, yeah. So yeah. I didn't. Well, when you I, watched didn't, her, I didn't dislike her at all. Yeah, I, I liked know. her, but I, I, I don't think she's played the game, so I don't yeah. think I connected as much with the character. I mean, obviously, you're obviously not a massive fan, but I, I don't think she's I'm an not. unlikable character. But, no, she's not. But it's like really? it's kind of like the Ava character before from Borderlands. Like yeah. I feel like we've seen this a lot now in series and films and games. Hmm. This younger, whether it's a Badass boy or a girl, girl this like youth of a character mm. who is cutting heads and throats <laughs> off and it's like I know what you're saying oh, it kinda, it, you're saying it kind of takes you out of it a little bit because it's like come on like this is a bit I'm not saying is it's this realistic happen. so is it like, the, like grow, grow massive three huge... grown men attacking yeah. a kid and getting beat yeah it's, I know what you mean <laughs> but it is a game it, to be it is although so. you have to remember how the game's set and where the game's yeah, set it's she's not going to be different. like a normal 16 year old but she's going to be hardened yeah but that's my and... problem like we've mm. seen this a million times yeah. now this is this is something that is like we need to move on from this like Everyone is still. I want more Clementine from the first Walking Dead. No, I don't want me. that. No, I want less <laughs> oh, of that. So but the, the thing is, right? It's like so I'm not sad. saying that she shouldn't have the heroic moments and no. be able to fight no. better than a, a girl in the street would now. Yeah. But it's like set piece wise, it's it can be unexpected. It can be done really well. But when you're just going through the game and you do this the same sort of execution or the mm. same kill over and over and over again. It, it, it's not believable and mm. that to me at least and I'm not saying The Last of Us is supposed to be realistic but it loses something I agree more though with Sud because obviously it's a world that we we'll ne- hopefully never experience well you might disagree with that you might want to experience yeah. it yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the apocalypse yeah. but yeah she is in a world that's going to make her more well, hard and, thinking, and she's going to have to be sense. like that so she wouldn't have survived for so long. Yeah, exactly. So, so it's kind of I, between you guys. I'm, I'm with just the saying, like, she shouldn't bit... be able to kill every mm. badass that she faces. I, like that's mm. that's just not like it doesn't. But do that's it every character in every game you ever play. When you're the protagonist, you pretty yeah. much defeat every badass going. It's just not believable for me. I do I'm think not, she I... should have a moment. Like again, I'm stressing. Yeah. I can't stress it enough. She should definitely have a moment. Yeah. She should save the day and have that like. Mm heroic moment or yeah whatever, like out of nowhere like to mm. come and save the day Randy Orton <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, okay, well, no. L.E.K.O. out of nowhere hey, that'd be great if that animation was in the game yeah okay. I, I would be shocked yeah. if she did that I've got to say though I do think the animations look really good yeah like for the killing mm. animations they look really like yeah. they look almost next gen don't they the game kind of looks like a next gen game it is to me. Yeah. it does it looks like a step forward I thought the perfect move for the RKO there's a, there's a knife in the table and she runs and jumps and RKO's him into the knife. A little yeah. bit like... Uh, How good's that? Batman the Joker with the... Batman the Joker? Which one's that? Um, which one is it? It's 2008 one. I only played all like one. No, only... no, 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 no. Oh, the, the film. film. Oh, that's the, the pencil film. trick. The pencil yeah, yeah, Do you want to yeah. see a magic trick? Yeah. 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 Ta-da! Oh, that's so good. That's <laughs> such a good scene in the film. That is a good scene. Yeah. I do agree. It's great. But yeah, so I'm looking forward to the game, though. It, you know, it's going to be one of the biggest games next year, isn't it? If yeah. not the biggest, probably. It will be the biggest, won't it? People mm, have been yeah. waiting a, a long time Six now. years. Well, it'll be seven years by yeah, the time. Well, game. six and a half, technically. It's great as well that it's like a last year game for PlayStation. It's like a last hurrah sort of game, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, and you know what they're going to do, don't you? When the new one comes out, remaster. remaster. That's, oh, yeah. why it's, that's why they're doing yeah, you're gonna it You're going to see all yeah. types of remaster, though. I bet there's games in the last couple of years that are going to get remasters on the... Yeah. yeah, God of War remastered and all this, and oh yeah, definitely. Red Dead Redemption yeah. Two remastered and whatever. Yeah, the remaster yeah. phase is kind of annoying to me. A little it bit. It is, but if it's done, some well, games I, I do like. like if it's done yeah, well, but yeah, then like, like you just get like we're getting so many games. It's like remastered. It's for example, like, what they did, what they've done with Crash is great. I mean, I think 
we all agree what they did with Crash Team, you know, Crash yeah, Team Racing, what they did with. <laughs> well, just, yeah, only, well, only because yeah, yeah. I'm most stressed because I'm shit at it. Bar is being crap at yeah, the game. That, yeah, that, that's the only complaint. But from the point of view of like their games, I think that's what we want to see. Like old games remade. Mm. That's yeah. the future. I think. You know, we're talking about. You know, there's all sorts of rumors with that. The studio Blue Point that Sony worked with a lot. Mm. Uh, the remaster of again, they did Shadow of Colossus. Uh, you know, they were rumored to be doing a Metal Gear Solid remake. Yeah, that might, might be, be amazing. amazing. Yeah, like, take that. I mean, yeah. whether it's actually I know, happen, I know I they've know, done but... the remake of Twin Snakes, um, mm. the first game, yeah. and they remade yeah. it, and that was Twin Snakes yeah. on Game. People liked that, didn't they? GameCube, I think. Yeah, yeah people, people really did. Said it was I'm good, sure people did. Yeah. They just changed a few things. Yeah, bit. but they could really make that like. Yeah. And you'd finally get to play it. Actually, get to play it. Metal Gear Solid One, the best one. Like one. 20 years later, it's, yeah. it's worth the wait. Shout out to Snake Eater, though. Everyone looks a bit of Snake Eater, don't they? So. It's overrated. You do. Uh, <laughs> no, I like it, but it's overrated. Yeah. Um, yeah. Wrong opinion. Overrated. Correct opinion. Anyway. Let us know. Snake Eater overrated. Or as underrated as I think. A very underrated. It's not Metal underrated. Gear. A very underrated Metal Gear. It's Snake Eater underrated. One of the best Metal Gears. Underrated. I, I love Snake Eater. No, it's just it's. What was it's that? Like? What did he use? What was the name? Snake Eater. Yeah, it's like the Bond, Eater. isn't it? It's like a Bond stuff. <laughs> yeah. yeah. A bit cringy. Uh, yeah. Let us know in the I comments below. I feel like I'll lose that battle. But uh, so we've know. got overrated, underrated, and like just fairly rated. Fairly rated. Yeah. Vote for Snake Eater. Let's <laughs> vote for Snake Eater. Right, yeah, so uh, we'll move on to the next topic, and that was that the Modern Warfare trailer dropped, that dropped on State of Play and inside yeah. Xbox. Was oh, that right. inside Xbox as well? Pretty. Maybe no, it wasn't. It was just on State of Play. State of Play, wasn't it? Jesus. We, we watched them back to back. I think it's that's because, why I think it's cause Sony have got the marking for the game. Right, got you, got I you. I think that's why it was okay. on State of Play. So it, did, it didn't drop on inside Xbox, just on State of Play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, but yeah, the Modern Warfare story trailer yeah. dropped, and... Uh, what do you think? I mean, I liked I, it. I, liked I it thought it looked quite good, actually. I thought it looked good. I mean, um, Price is back. I kind of... You get the sense... It's one of them, though. I I, I kind of get the sense I know the game's going to be good. You know one of them games mm. you just kind of know? They seem to like be getting their act together now, a little bit with this one, anyway, this iteration. Um, it looks like it's going back to its roots. Yeah. Going back to the old star, none of this jetpacking in the air and... Oh. Yeah, that's which one was it? Advanced, Advanced Warfare, Warfare and Infinite Warfare, Warfare or the jetpack? However, oh, we did like the story. I did like the story, but all yeah. the messing about. I don't like it, the online, messing, all that online messing around. The jet packs. You... Remember that? Me, you, and oh. Ted. That was intolerable, man. I, all so I did bad. all game was this. Oh, and then die. <laughs> <laughs> and then I respawn. I'd be like, "Perks, there's someone here on the wall." <laughs> yeah. And then I die. Well, <laughs> terrible. I mean, I played the two v two beta on yeah. PS4, and it was great. I loved it. I thought it was great. I thought it was. Really good, really fun. Yeah, that's a new Very, one. it's completely skill based. No messing around, none of this. Like, you get an advantage, just whoever's better. Wins. Yeah. Simple as that. Okay, so I won't so. win many, but. It's definitely a fun mode to try out, though. Really yeah. good. Really Do they good still mode. not have, like, perks and upgrades as you go along, though? Because uh, I don't know. I, I th There's no way they're going to ditch that completely. No, there probably will be in the main yeah. multiplayer. I didn't see it in this 2v2, but. There's been another beta I haven't had a chance to play it. There's been like the open beta for the multiplayer. I haven't yeah, played I it. Saw that. I think there's one on Xbox soon, maybe. Or no, I've already been. I'm not mm. sure, but yeah, just come back to the trailer though. I thought you know it looked like a, what you'd expect from Call of Duty, really. A lot of set pieces. Yeah. But what I liked about it was it looked and I, I don't want to say it's a copy, but it looked more like COD Four again, didn't it? Yeah, it did. Like, like serious, had that feel. Yeah. Grounded, sort of story. And they've, and they've had complaints. Yeah. About the story, haven't they? Certain moments apparently are a bit too much. They're too, too graphic, real. Apparently. Yeah, They're too graphic. It, it could happen in real life, so it needs to be removed yeah, from I the mean, game. That makes me want to play it more, though. Yeah, exactly. it does. I know that, that's the exactly. ironic thing about it. Yeah. It'll make people buy it more. Yeah, so. I want to see it. I want to play it because obviously, the the biggest one that stands out was the Russian. No Russian. Uh, yeah. No Russian. Modern Warfare Two. Was that Modern Warfare Two? When you just gun down, mow down yeah. people. Or not? But what well, people, oh yeah, you could not, not to. You could turn it off though. Yeah. yeah, you could. It was an option at the start of the game, so if you, you know, yeah. didn't want to do it, you didn't have to. So it no. wasn't forced on anyone. And I do wonder whether they're going to do that again. I wonder if there's going to be, be a scene in the game where at the start they go, or oh, you can turn off. Yeah. Like graphic moments. Graphic moments. Graphic moments. Yeah. But people complained as well with GTA, didn't they? With the torture scene. Mm. Yeah. When you're Trevor and you get to you couldn't slap. That. No, you can <laughs> no, 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 like GTA is a whole different story. Oh, so. they don't care. They do Rockstar. They don't care. They're no. Just, they, they, don't, they just really, they don't pander to anyone, do they? Rockstar, they just make their game and if people get offended, that's it. So what? Yeah. And if anything, it makes them more popular. Mm. So it actually works in their favour. So. Mm. COD's just the next in a long line of games now that has drawn a lot of criticism from 
individuals who have had early access, whether it's through like publications or websites or whether it's just someone that's been invited in. Yeah. A few months back when they did the, the auditorium full of like press and, and just basically random people come in, it was unanimous that the game had to change. Yeah. Because it was it was too hitting graphic. too hard with people and there was too much danger and there was too mm. much possible death and mm. and it's war. It's a game it, about it, war. It's a game about war and civil war, especially yeah, this time yeah. around. So I, I feel like we've we've kind of gone full circle because back in the day we had publications crying out for reality in games and we're, we're missing that realism. How how mm. far can mm. they push the boundary? Now it's like we've gone past that and we're at the stage where it's like, no, this is too real now. Tone it down. Yeah. Make it less violent. Like make it less drastic for mm-hmm. what could happen to the world. People have gone mad. Like, people have, people <laughs> He's looking gone, straight at you. Yeah, people, people, people have gone, have gone crazy. mad. If you want, if you want games to go back twenty years, just because it was nicer and because well, the boundaries think, weren't pushed, yeah, as I don't. Much, I, think that's not how it works. I think it's more because of the world we live in now, isn't it? Yeah, it's completely like people are too you know. sensitive. Well, yeah, they definitely can be. Yeah. yeah. You know, and I mean, to, I just want to make a quick point though, with this story. And the uh, the violence and people saying tone it down. For me, as long as the violence suits the story yeah. and the narrative, and, sense. yeah, it doesn't just come out of nowhere and you're like, wow, that was overly brutal yeah. for no reason. Yeah, I mean, I have played games in the past. You probably have as well. Certain violent games where you think there's just no need, like the, the yeah, violence for no violence' for sake. It's like this is stupid, really. Yeah, if it's violent you know, to try and invoke a reaction yeah, I and it's this... sidestepping yeah. like yeah. what the actual game that's crap. Like, for yeah. example, would all say if that. it falls into the story, then yeah, great. The story's it's... about war. Like, yeah, come on. it's not going to be nice. No. Yeah, I remember in the past playing maybe certain horror games where it's like there's just no, there's no need for this. Mm. Need, some of it's needless violence. Yeah, but then you get games like I'm trying to think of an example. Spec Ops: The Line. Mm. The violence in that game. Is completely justified. And, yeah. Well, justified is a stupid word. To that's use, a random know. example, by the yeah. way. I know, but I'm just, it's a good example, I think. It is. People can buy that game a lot, though, don't they? Yeah, yeah it was a great game. It was story driven, mm. and the violence yeah. made sense in that game yeah. because yeah. of what was going on with the character. And yeah, fantastic game, by the way. You should definitely play it and get the chance because it's. If you want to go back in time, it's, like it's a hidden gem. Isn't Fifteen it? years old or something like it's that. It's old now, but I think it stands up. I think it's a it, it is, game. was a good game. It maybe still is. I don't know, but it, it's probably yeah. important to say actually. If you haven't seen or, or heard anything from from back with what we were talking about, the scene related to a hostage situation, in which there was there were female characters who were not related to war, so civilians mm. or just people in the area. Who could have possibly been endangered in the situation that they were put in? Yeah, that's war. That that's war. Like the, yeah. the job is it's is for people but... to protect those people. So yeah, you you're not gonna go in as a good guy and gun down a good civilian. That that's not the story. That yeah. that's well, not the point. Your job was to go in and rescue them, and that was the scene. Will they survive or will they not? And if they don't, well reality people die yeah. in war like I it's mean, supposed like to be said, dramatic it's horrible but unfortunately yeah. I mean, if the game's being realistic with well, war that's what well. happens yeah. another thing as well is at the end of the day the game's got a rating yeah. it's an 18 rated game Yeah, that's true yeah it's What's not like having ratings you say, keep for example if they'd have said oh the games are 12 or a 16 yeah. then I would have been like well, you can't that's wrong you shouldn't be having these things in it but the game is an 18 rated mature you know if in America mature rated game so you know, and you say because they're they're probably worried like oh kids will play it. So, mm. Yeah, they will, but who's that's, that's surely the, the parents', parents responsibility. Yeah, responsibility. That isn't yeah. new either. Like, yeah, that is not new. I was playing eighteen games when I was six. Yeah, like, yeah, I mean, we were playing we, we GTA. Were <laughs> we're probably not yeah. good examples, yeah. but we're not. I think we turned out right. No, but like yeah, we we don't go into the street and like, like no people yeah, are, like yeah. try and get a five star. Obviously, there is certain people that are affected by these things. We know that. Like there is certain people in society that maybe do play this game and. Yeah, to, to be affected, honest, though, maybe it's to not be honest, honest though, though, that's not, it's not just gaming, it's, though. If certain people are affected like that, they could literally go on Google and watch yeah. the yeah. most horrific thing, Video. things imaginable. Yeah. So, true. you know, that, the, the studies that, that have actually been carried out suggest that gaming, gaming has nothing to yeah, do with There's no like correlation. That. But we're not even talking about that. We're talking about hurting people's feelings because yeah, it's a sensitive game. Like, if, just don't play it. Just don't play yeah. it. If you're, if you're that way inclined, don't play the game. It's not for you. And that's. That's it's, quite okay. it's, not, it's not a hill to die you know, on. No. No, but do you know what doesn't always from these game reviews as well? The hypocrisy. Just the hypocrisy in general. They'll review games in the past. I bet they've reviewed loads of games in the past. Mm. They've been violent for violence' sake. 
and they've not said it in the review. Yeah. And now they're probably the same ones saying, yeah. oh, can't this have this. Be so it's like, it feels like the pandering, doesn't it? Mm. Well, it's they the are, audience. because if, the if, the if they like, say what I just said, work. they'll get thousands of dislikes, they'll get thousands of complaints because they're not conforming to the norm and what people expect. Mm. So people are getting offended about a game that they probably won't even play, complaining about it, and they're not the target audience. Neither are they the players that are going to be there. This, this isn't the hill to die on. They should die on the hill of uh, like FIFA and stuff of letting kids gamble. Yeah, that, exactly. That's what they should yeah, be complaining like, you know, more worry about. Worry about loot boxes. And, yeah, and, and like the NBA latest game. Yeah, that's GTA's massive Casino. Scandal. GTA Casino, they're a lot worse. I'd agree. They're massively worse, yeah. I'd agree. They're creating addicts. Yeah. And another point I was going to make as well is, is it any surprise that the popularity of these major gaming websites are going down and down and down and down and down? When yeah. you, because they're just... I don't think they're... They're not doing their jobs. Any, they're just trying to pander to a certain mm. audience. Or they're making clickbait titles. Clickbait titles. Yeah. And, you know, you see the likes of the main ones. I'm not going to make name names, but the main ones now, they're losing popularity to YouTube. Mm. To but YouTube they're appeasing the people who are going to come for them, basically. And they're, they're yeah. alienating their... They're good, strong audiences. They'll, they'll see that, though. I don't, I don't think what we're in now is something now. that will last forever. This, this is yeah. quite... Well, these game websites aren't going to last forever the way they're going. Yeah. No, they're going to die. They're, they all, don't they're, like, they're all going to die the they way they're going. They don't like YouTubers either, though. No, because you know why? Because they're taking their... Yeah, yeah but rightly so, in yeah. my opinion. YouTube... <laughs> They're doing it better. There's a lot of YouTubers out there who yeah. are bad at what they do. There's a lot of really good really ones good who are ones. honest. Yeah. Uh, the only problem yeah. is, obviously, when sponsorships start getting involved, because then you never really know what their honest opinion is. Yeah, because if you get paid, paid to say a certain thing, it's kind of hard to turn way. around and say, yeah, I and Brew have paid me 250 grand, but it tastes like shit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's just not ever going to happen. Well, I know it's going to stop a little bit, but I, I just think, look, I don't want to big us up exactly, but sh- shows like this... Mm. This is what the future is. This is what, this is how people want their game content. Now. Yeah, well, they're already doing like, it. I mean, look, even IGN has started wrong, to do. Uh, well, I've been doing stuff like this. I'm not really talking about this because you know we're not in the know or anything. We don't know tons about you know yeah, in, inside know the knowledge. Though. But we're passionate and we have a good knowledge of games and. Yeah. But a lot of these, they're, they're not. Uh, they're just not. They're, they're not doing it the right way, in my opinion. It's like the final losing battle. I feel like some of them yeah. though are just. We're passionate. But as they've gone longer in their career, their passion has waned. Mm. Yeah, I agree. And yeah. now they ju- they just hitting out clickbaity titles or doing mm. whatever the editor tells them. Like yeah. we need this, we want this spin on it. Yeah, there's probably a lot of passionate people who are being forced to guide yeah. their passion in a different way to how I mean, they actually. If it's feel. your job that pays for everything, your editor says no. Yeah. It's it takes a lot of character to turn around. Well, and say, yeah, well actually, I want to stay with yeah. truth and what I believe. And it's it. kind of the sheep mentality. Mm-hmm. Of like a few people are doing it, and everyone else is going to follow their lead because they don't want to. Oh, yeah. don't want to upset the apple cart. And... It's tough. It's a bit. It's not it's easy, bit, but yeah, we it's... just prefer obviously people to get there. Yeah. yeah. Honest, and do you know what? Though bringing it back to the original point and, and the new Call of Duty, I think it's really good that in the main they haven't pandered. Mm. They haven't. Yeah, no, they I haven't don't. backed down. Mm-hmm. Like There's a lot of articles out there from the from the executive producers and the, mm. the game directors who are involved who have basically said, nah. No. Yeah. We're going to stick through. Good on vision. them because it's their vision. Yeah. Their game. At the end of the day, it's their game. Yeah. It's not exactly. these journalists' game. It's their game. And yeah. the, these journalists yeah. don't want to like it. That's up to them. They're entitled to their opinion. But so are the people making the game. So. Yeah. Do you know what though? I think it's really good, and it, it, it's a good precedent going forward. I wish a lot more people would do it because it's kind yeah. of like if you have a vision that they have, and then it gets changed and altered just because it's the right the, the mm. right thing to do. That's not their vision at the end. Mm. So you'll play a product and you'll think, no, I didn't yeah. really enjoy that. Or even if you did, you're Devil's... not enjoying what they actually wanted True. you to see. Devil's advocate to that, though, is some games that get released on like Steam. There was that one we talked about last year, the school oh. shooter one. Oh, yeah. The school yeah, yeah. shooting simulator. Very... There's some that are like... But that's just one. an obvious that case of that. absolutely ridiculous. But to me, that's, yeah. not, that's not even an argument. That game should be took off the store. Yeah, it should That's not ever, even... You know, there's been rape even... games as well and stuff yeah, like that. No, it's like, yeah. how, how, how is that a thing? Like Steam's amazing. It's a fantastic platform, but the they let a lot of shit through. Yeah, and they they don't mm. particularly have a strong police into what Although gets they did, put on. They did ban at, at the first few. point. Yeah, they so. did ban a few games, didn't they? Yeah. they have banned a few. Yeah, now, but it's, but sometimes it, like you said. It's the first point they're through, but then it yeah. takes people to find them. Exactly. Yeah, that's true. So like games like that, obviously, get them in the bin. They're mm-hmm. not games. Like mm-hmm. that's trash. That's yeah. not what we're talking about here. Yeah. But 
in terms of like a creative vision, in terms of making a story, and, and, and it's it's a civil war story. It's supposed to be gruesome. It's supposed mm-hmm. to be violent. It's supposed yeah. to invoke emotion from you as a player. You're not supposed to sit there through through the new modern warfare game and and just sit. No, and shoot. Sit and shoot. And don't feel like yeah, it doesn't yeah. matter. You want to connect with the characters. Exactly. Yeah. So, look, I like what they've done. Just just because they're staying true to their beliefs. And the game I, looks good. Game looks great. Like in the first 30 really seconds good. of the trailer, I'm pretty sure a bomb goes off and all the windows mm. crash the street yeah. from and it's like, shit's getting real. Like, yeah, it, it, it invokes that emotion straight away. Yeah. And, and obviously- Takes you back, doesn't it? With was one of Warfare when he dropped the nuke. Well, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I can't four. remember, was it four? Four, yeah. yeah. And like, we, we've had characters in COD, like you've played as characters that die. Mm-hmm. in COD mm-hmm. games so like you are dying within yeah. those games so it's not, not quite supposed regular in COD to games. yeah it does even like yeah. no Russian mission exactly <laughs> yeah. but even like you know in, in the aftermath of that helicopter crash was that COD 4 as well is it, oh, was yeah. it so yeah. Yeah. and you, you sort of crawl out and things are burning around it's supposed to be yeah that turn was good actually crazy yeah. I didn't see that coming when I first played it so and, and you've got like you and Ghost being set on fire and yeah. like it's it's mad but that's that's their roots, and like you said before, they're going back to it. It looks hardcore now. Yeah, they're storytelling at the best on yeah. that. and in terms of the, the actual story, it's probably going to be the best one that we've seen. Not that the recent ones have been bad, yeah. but this one should elevate it again to yeah. another level, and I'm, I'm excited to see what they do with it. Yeah, so am I, and I, yeah, looking forward to that. Um, that's, oh, where's that out? October? October 25th. Yeah. October 25th. Yeah. There you go, the man with the knowledge. <laughs> bailed I'm me out there the I didn't type it now seems to remember quite <laughs> yeah you well. did um, but yeah we'll move on we wanted to just touch on inside Xbox a little bit pretty quick uh, uh, this is going to be great as you can tell from the side we're not impressed with state of play was much better it was oh, like it was so much better. what 26 so minutes long better. to be precise yeah. and it was short concise short concise yeah just go trail, trail after trail none of this rubbish yeah little voiceover yeah. quite nicely nice. done you got the information you wanted. Yeah. Inside Xbox. Oh my god. They just oh, cringy was it? Oh, four so hosts and stuff and just really bad jokes. So <laughs> I mean if you yeah, like punch, it was you might like it. half long, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah, but we skipped the first half because the half an hour was waiting time. Yeah, so it was the, about an hour long. Yeah, about an hour. It could have been twenty minutes long. Yeah, it could have been. It There's really no need. Been. They did have the some interviews and I guess yeah, that is interesting good, yeah. with some developers. It went on a bit too long for me. From like Atlas. Too long though. Yeah, well I agree. But um well, like, can we just touch on that game first? Yeah. Because... I'm pretty sure Nelson, Major Nelson, said... Uh, he definitely he said make a Sea of Thieves. I'm right, sure okay. he so said Sea of Thieves. Just to give context. There yeah. was a new, ga- a new game... Um, well, we didn't think it was a new game at no, first, but there was a new game that um, was shown inside Xbox. And at first, I don't know if we quite caught it properly, but we the trailer went in. Yeah. And we thought, oh, Sea of Thieves. Sea expansion Thieves. for Sea of Thieves. Yeah. And then it was like, oh, the new game Atlas out. Yeah. It was like, what? A new game? I know. And you a pirate shocked. game. Ah, uh, Microsoft. The Microsoft yeah. advertising. Yeah. And it, I don't know if it and there's so be, much more life to it. I'm not sure. That's not hard. Is on, it? No. I know it's on PC and Xbox. It might be on play. Maybe on PlayStation. I'm not sure. Yeah. But it. Well, to me, it looked like Sea of Thieves, but more fun. Mm-hmm. It did. <laughs> it looked, it looked more, like there was more to it. More RPG elements. Yeah. It. Um. But I was just like, why on earth are they showing off? A new pirate game. Yeah. Where they got their exclusive Own game. studio. <laughs> they, yeah. Is this not just going to take place away from that game? And, oh, this looks more fun. We'll go away from Sea of And it does look more fun. Unless they give up on Sea of Thieves, but I don't think so. Because uh, they push that game a lot. I must admit, I haven't checked Sea of Piss for a while now. Sea of Piss. <laughs> if they haven't given up on it, they should. Like, let's be fair. It's It's been dead in the water for a long I mean, time. Yeah. This Alice nice game looks all right, doesn't it? You, you'd fit on the inside Xbox with your puns. Yeah, yeah. It it's, it's not an hour and a half of them or an hour. No. But this, I thought it looks alright, that Atlas game. Yeah, that Atlas did look alright, to be fair. If that was on Game Pass, I'd probably give it a go. Yeah. But I don't know if it is, so. No. But anyway. Sure. Anyway. That's not that Atlas. is a good point, though. We did get a yeah. little confused there. And I, I thought he said Sea of Thieves as well. Maybe he did, maybe he made a mistake. I don't know, I'd have to watch it back. There was a few mistakes in there. Yeah, Some well, people there's said mistakes something. all the time, isn't there, when you're live, to be fair. Yeah, but true. Yeah, it just felt a <laughs> bit dragged out. For no real reason. And, can, remember, can you yeah. just tell the, tell the audience that joke again? Oh, what was God, it? Jeff, it was Jeff Rubenstein. Um, was. The joke was something like, yeah. what did the ocean say to the shell? Nothing. He just waved. I was like, what? And it, I was like, man, what all we've heard is puns. You know, I, I literally... I hate puns. When, you know when you told me that he said that, I literally went like that. 
<laughs> no, I was that embarrassed. I was that em- I didn't want to look at the screen. I was that embarrassed. It was like there were so quite cringy. a few cringe moments. Like, but to be so fair, at the end of the day, if that's what they've been told oh, to read or no, whatever, but, then yeah. That, but I feel yeah. a little bit solid watching it. I'm like, I'm not five years old. <laughs> Your main audience is not five years old. Yeah. People watching inside the Xbox are not the casuals. They're yeah. the hardcore. You should be advertising to the hardcore. That's what PlayStation knew how to do with State of Play. Mm. The hardcore don't want to watch, you know, people messing around doing puns and stupid. Just want to see the games. Just want to see the latest games. news. Well, yeah, you know, uh, let's touch on Game Pass because they said there was some latest news. Oh, this is what this is what <laughs> annoys me. Really. I'm really going a bit of a rant. Every part of our inside well, Xbox. This no, annoys me. You know why? Because because we all want Xbox to be good, and they just uh, they still annoy me sometimes. Some of the things they do, mm. they just don't seem to know. Mark their market in this generation has been awful. They don't know how to market. They properly. got off to a poor start, and they haven't really. Their social media and everything's been terrible, and you know they have. I understand the need to advertise Game Pass. It's that big thing. So they advertise four new games for the Xbox, Game Pass PC, yeah. fine, all well and good. They're trying to push it. But then they were saying, well, we have new additions to Game Pass. Oh, one of them was like a Jump Force game. Yeah. That game's been on Game Pass for a week and a half. That is not a new edition. You know? Mm. Bloodstained Ritual of Nights on Game Pass. That's been there for two weeks. This is not a new edition. They were making out like, oh, they're just coming now. And it's like... Yeah, maybe they no, should have held like, off on those games until you, inside you either, Xbox. Yeah, you either don't talk it. about them or you hold off, like you said, and then really beat them. Yeah. Cause, and then didn't they say something about there's an indie showcase the next day? T- today. Why not just have that in the show? Yeah. <laughs> inside Xbox, indie games, hardcore, they all go into one. Mm-hmm. That's what people are watching the show for, new indies, stuff like that. Just, why are they doing a separate event? I... Less people are going to watch that event than inside Xbox. No one's going to be bothered about that event, no offence. Well, not people will be. Not many people, people watch that. Will be. Not many people will watch it. It just won't have as big of an audience. audience. Yeah. So yeah. I just... Oh, put my head in my hands sometimes. I feel like the production okay, of, of Inside Xbox has been wrong for a long time now. I think back to the days it was first on the, yeah. the 360, was it? 360. Like, when they did their like 10 minute shows or something every week show. or something like that? Roughly. That was Which all right was back then. Mm. But... And me and Matt used to watch it together every week, yeah. actually. And we used to say, like, oh, that was okay, but they, they could do X, Y, or Z, and they could yeah. spruce it up a little bit. Even now, like, ten years later, I feel like yeah. every time we sit down to watch one, it's just like, why did I watch that? Yeah. What did I learn from that? Or what enthused me from that? Or what was the point in the hour being an hour instead of 25 minutes or half an hour? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Fair enough, you get a few developer commentaries or interviews that can be interesting, but the, the core of what they do at Inside Xbox now, to me, is mm. like, if it didn't exist, mm. it, we were not losing anything. No. no one is losing anything by that. Really. And you're not really finding anything out by watching it that you can't find out through Google. any other source. <laughs> Twitter. So nothing revolutionary is ever going to really drop mm. on there, to no. be honest. They reveal Game Pass editions, like you said, that are dated not drastically old, but a couple of weeks is still old. Uh, to me, that I, I don't. I, I, I just. You've got to go again. People, yeah, but <laughs> no, you've got to be going again because the people watching that will already know about these games. Well, yeah, we're not, we're not, we're not five-year-old children that don't know how to work game. It's as if they're try, like, it's as if they're try, It's like a dummy's guide for Xbox users to me. The inside Xbox. Mm. Yeah. And it's what? What are you doing? But I think with the Game Pass <laughs> releases as well, like, and and I'm not trying to come down too hard on the games that they did talk about, but. They're not. They're not showing you games that are like heavy hitters. They're not showing you AAA mm. titles. They're showing you games that the majority of gamers will take or leave them. Mm. Yeah. And mm-hmm. they're, they're they're showing them as like a look at the new titles well, we've added, and it's like okay, but no one really cares. True. It, it's not like they're coming in with a AAA title and saying right now this is on Game Pass as of this. Well, show. yeah. Uh, the one exception is they did show the Outer Worlds off a lot, which is coming to Game Pass. Yeah, um, that looks good. That looks good. Yeah. Doesn't it? Mm-hmm. I, we watched the But, but again, though, that's not new. Like everyone knows. That's no, no, that's true. Us. But like, that's fine. But they're obviously always going to talk about it because it's coming. Phil Spencer is Phil not Spencer is calling me. He's, he's not happy. <laughs> Off you? screen. Wait, can, can I speak to that sud? <laughs> Put that sud on. <laughs> so. Not now, Phil. <laughs> See you later, Phil. Right. So, anyway, <laughs> Phil's got a direct line to check for me. He has. But, uh, no, our oils look good. Yeah. It looks like Fortnite New Vegas in space, which is always a good thing. I love Fortnite yeah. New Vegas, so I'm not going to moan. Mm. The facial animations still look like an obsidian game, not the best, but I don't really care. I just want the game to be fun. Yeah. Good story. It will be. 
I think. Passable graphics. Yeah. Well, very passable, to be yeah, fair. Yeah, not so. best, but who cares? Like, again, as long as the game's fun. Yeah. I think from the moment we first saw that, that was yeah. one game that we've actually seen where we were all watching together. Was, was it E3? This E3. Think and you know. it was yeah. like, oh, that actually looks good. Yeah. We're interested in that, which is a mm. rare thing for Microsoft. And, you know, days. that's one that thing. I don't want to completely, like, shit all over Microsoft because they've doing some good things as well. Like, Game Pass is really good. It's great value. Mm. Mm. But I just know they could do so much more, and it frustrates me. Yeah. It really frustrates me knowing yeah. they could be so much better than they are. And they're just, they're still losing out to Sony, aren't they? Sony just seems to be able to pit them at every poster, mm. doesn't it? Every little thing, it's like, yeah, but Sony's doing it better. To be fair, it's tough because Sony got off to an awful start and they just not never really recovered. recovered. They've improved. They have pulled it they pulled back, back a little to bit. an extent. But, yeah. yeah, but that's that, that, such a bad start, wasn't it? Yeah. It's like a football analogy. They pulled it back to 3 1, but then Sony just go and score on it and win a, like, not a winner, but another goal to make it 4 1. And it's just like, well, yeah. yeah. Mm. I think it will definitely take the you know. reset of the next gen yeah. for them to start again, if you like. Mm-hmm. And even then, yeah, the, the mind gonna share is going to be with Sony still. Tough. That reminds me that's something we should touch on as well. And um, they talked about Project X Cloud. Yeah, I mean, what is that say much though about it? Yeah, well, they opened up their early, the early access, access thing, didn't yeah. they? Um, that's next starting next month. Well, the, <laughs> this is another. Pro- I'm just going to rant again because this is another problem I have with them. Oh, God. <laughs> No, right, it's a valid complaint this time. Usually it's me, the negative one. Because they go on about, like, they want to be inclusive now at Xbox, don't they? They want to involve everyone. Yeah. So what do they do? Oh, this xCloud only available on Android. Why? Mm. Why is that not available on iPhone? Which most people, like... Mm. I just... It makes no sense. They're not... Mm. They should... If they want to be... Have it on everything. Yeah. Why is it only exclusive? I mean, maybe in the future it will be on iPhone or whatever, but on the Apple... It's only on Android at the minute. Yeah, no. I I don't. Oh, it's... Android are the most users in the world. True, they are. But but you'd think with a massive Come company on. like Microsoft, like... they'd be able to just cater for everyone. Yeah. yeah Otherwise, it's... you alienate too many potential customers. I mean. like yeah. this. It's agree. kind of contradictory to what they're trying to do at the minute. They're trying to be inclusive. We want to, yeah. you know, because they yeah. know their end goal is they want to be on everything. Yeah, they'd yeah. happily have Xbox Game Pass on PS Five. <laughs> they would. <laughs> yeah, they would. Yeah, I know. Because I money. wouldn't even be shocked yeah. if that happens at some point later on in the next generation. Wouldn't shock me. Same with Nintendo. They'll probably have Xbox on Nintendo Switch as well. I could mm. I could see being on Nintendo more than PlayStation. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they had got, that thing last more... year about a mini partnership yeah. Yeah. or something. There's more, obviously, yeah, you're going to see it on Switch first. Yeah, I think. for sure. Yeah. But I think down the line, five, ten years on, wouldn't shock me. Well, it depends how gaming goes. You never know, really, these days, do you? We might not so. even have like rivalries. We might just have Game Pass like yeah. that has all the games Maybe on Don't it. forget about Google Stadia. Well, it's easy no. to forget because that's going to crash and burn. I'm sorry. No. Like, that's just Mate, did you see what they it. spoke about last week? Just going off on a tangent. You have to pay for AAA games yep. and you have to pay for subscription fee. Yeah. As soon as you what? hear that. What's the point? Honestly, mate, as soon as you hear that, they're done. Yeah, it's like, no, why? It, you pay the subscription fee to get the game, surely. It, it's a convoluted way of making something that should be if, really simple really can imagine difficult. going on Netflix though and you pay what well, I can't I don't know how much Netflix is no. it's gone up hasn't it 8.99 okay so you're yeah. paying 8.99 you go on Netflix it's like here's Avengers but you have to pay an extra Three £12 quid, pound to get it yeah. <laughs> what no what, what's the what's point what's nice? the point of having the service then if you, you know why it's not going to work more? as well because what do Playstation and Xbox have that they don't you can play games different ways mm. Mm. that's the difference what is Google said you can only play streaming well, on PlayStation Xbox, yeah, you can stream. But say the stream's a bit crap or something, you can just play the disc or play. Yeah. yeah. It's like there's no comparison. Google Stadia will not be able to beat the main rivals mm. because there's just not the same choice. Yeah. No mm-hmm. one's gonna do it. Like they're a one-track thing. It's a one-track I, pony. I think the it's, the big problem that Stadia is gonna have is that, and I'm, I know this is not new news. It, it's been around for a while now, but Stadia doesn't have crossplay with PC. No. So that is going to kill it more than anything. <laughs> like, if it's people just... are going to, not that people will like go away from one to the other or anything, no. but it, like, if, if you're if you're a PC gamer, you're not going to leave being a PC gamer, which is at the top of the mountain, to go and play Stadia. That that doesn't make any sense. No. You, you're already there, and considering so much in this day and age is about crossplay or cross save, as we've seen in a, mm. in a few examples recently. For Stadia to just be, no, we exist in our own entity, there's no cross-play, there's no anything, it's just Stadia. Come on. Mm. Who's going to main yes. Stadia? 
It's no going to be gonna, a, it's going to no be a very That's small. The there'll be a good initial uptake because people Maybe. will people intrigued. are all yeah, yeah people are intrigued. They're excited. Yeah. It's new, I'm and convinced. and people have that thing. You know when like a new phone comes out or something, people want to be the first adopters. Don't they? Yeah. They want to be yeah. like I was there when stick, but. I'm a few even, months down the line, you know, I'm not I'm not even it. so sure they're going to get as many people as they think, even initially. I think there's been a lot of criticism of this. There's a lot of people... Well, the marketing so far has not been the best. I don't so. know if they're going to get as many people as they think straight away, even. Mm. I think it's probably going to be... It'll stay around because they've got money. They'll pump money into it, but let's be honest. I don't think it's going to be... Is it really going to be big in five years' time? Probably not. Time will tell. I because know, Xbox will have their own streaming... Sony will have their they've all already like I said they teamed up yeah basically yeah um Sony to use Microsoft service so they're both gonna have good infrastructure so I no and PlayStation and Xbox are brand names people know them they know mm. what to get from them no one knows what the hell they're gonna get from Stadia no it could be the worst service ever well you'd imagine it'd be alright with well, the money behind it with the technology they have in the on their side that's true yeah, imagine, imagine, but... it will be fine but it's on on the the well, player side it, yeah. it's like you know from client side or, or whatever it's they're going to be running the the best they possibly can but as mm. that translates and they have a handy diagram to be fair you can see what you're going to need to achieve what kind of mm. quality in, in terms of your stream but even that is like say you need 35 megabytes per second consistent to reach a, a certain threshold you might not get that you, you might drop to 33 or like mm, yeah. what if you even drop for a second your experience goes so they're yeah, too early it's... yeah they're too early that's the key you know I think Microsoft and Sony know this as well like yeah. obviously they're starting to invest in it for the future because they know it's going to be big mm. but they're not daft enough to put all their eggs in one basket whereas Google said it is all their eggs in one basket and I just don't think it's going to pay off yeah, yeah because they're competing against Sony, Microsoft and PC yeah. all at the same time but with only one horse in the race they've only got yeah. one option the rest mm. have got two or three different ways they're going to buy it and I just think choice is a big thing isn't it We've seen this is good. choice is going to be a massive thing next generation. Mm. It is so, and Google said it doesn't really offer you too much choice. <laughs> yeah, like I, I would so, be interested. I know people will talk about the the high level of streaming. Mm. If you do hit the highest threshold, you can achieve that instantly, which 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 is a cool feature. But what do they actually have with Stadia that is completely unique that would make people throw away consoles and PCs and join Stadia if you like and stick with it? What do they have that nobody else has at the moment? Nothing. Apart from the stuff really? that they run technologically that yeah. we can't really access on console or even building your own PC is an ask. Mm. But that isn't enough to oh. make you go, I'm gonna forget all that I've done for all the and I'm I'm gonna I'm stadia now. Mm. Or at least to me anyway, like people may disagree, but they needed something that when they released Stadia as a concept, they said, This is what we have, this is why you should join it and everyone would sit there and go, Yeah, we need that. Yeah. They don't have that. They don't have the hook. No. No. Nope. Not for me, anyway. I mean, people will disagree. I, and uh, I think a lot of people will probably agree with you right now. Mm. Still waiting for the hook, and I guess we'll have to see how that plays out. But exactly. I don't think we're very confident about no. Stadia. Let's just no. put it that I way. So. I'm uh, intrigued, though. I want to see what happens. Yeah, yeah it'll be interesting to see. Yeah. Maybe well, we'll be completely wrong. Maybe it'll be a, th a runaway success. Yeah. And, we'll and we can eat humble pie. I just can't we'll see it. We'll have to come back to this video, and like you said, eat humble pie. But... I, just, I, I think it's a very low <laughs> But you were correct to... not long ago about a certain game. Yeah, <clears throat> Anthem. Anthem, cough, cough. Shit, shit. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Let's move on to another shit game. 20,000 <laughs> Fallout... 20,000 Fallout 76 Power Armor Helmets recalled for mold exposure. Um, a previous version of this story said the collectible helmet from the $200 Power Armor Collector's Edition. Oh, that doesn't read right, actually. No. So the Power Armor Edition is fine. That's fine. The yes. helmet you get it's with the that GameStop is great. Edition. Yeah. It's, the it's the exclusive GameStop, GameStop one. Yeah. yeah. Bethesda have uh, released a statement on it. Um, the helmets that are being recalled are not from our Fallout 76 Power Armor Edition, but are instead a different line of helmets sold exclusively by GameStop. This is bad for GameStop. <laughs> So the Fallout 76 Power Armor Edition helmets are unaffected. Consumers should visit the product recall page for instructions if they have purchased the GameStop helmet. Well, they can get a full refund, can't they? Though? I'm pretty yeah, sure. I'm pretty I sure mean, that. Yeah, yeah. But, <laughs> but they've got mold, so they can get their money back. But they're going to expose the mold. As, I mean, <laughs> in what the context of things, this isn't probably going to end up being an absolutely massive story. But it's just as if GameStop needed any more bad news. Is they're already 76. Well, yeah, but. I, 
I think it looks worse on GameSpot. Yeah, especially with uh, Fallout 76 going, <laughs> it's them. Yeah, yeah pretty much. <laughs> you know, we didn't do this. Yeah, well, you know what they're doing? They're literally throwing their crap on a sinking ship, because as we know, GameSpot's a sinking ship that's yeah. going to be gone fairly soon. From what yeah. we hear, I mean, apparently they're... True. They're, they're stocked they're and stocked everything. Stocked all, this could yeah. be the last of them, money. Right? You two are <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, yeah. If they're gone. Yeah, this story is a strange one, isn't it? It is a strange story. I mean, you'd be pretty annoyed, wouldn't you, if you had it was just mold. I'd be very annoyed if I had mould. <laughs> Imagine that. <laughs> mold exposure. Well, these are things that are on display, aren't they? I mean, Maybe they're, they're collectors there. and they're supposed to be cool. So someone comes into your room one day or like in your, wherever you've got your setup, in your gaming setup, and they look at it and then all of a sudden it's turned green. Or like purple <laughs> and blue and it's just, just like mould going on. Yeah, tell you what, it. maybe this is how the last of us starts. Yeah. Mould in people's we helmets can, goes to the brain. Game yeah. clickers. GameStop yeah, exactly. start, started the uh, apocalypse. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Well, it's an apocalypse for them, sure, yeah. really soon, so yeah. maybe they want to start it first. I know. What an awful, awful yeah, story. It's crazy. I, don't, I just don't understand how <laughs> stuff like this happens, oh, really. Bad, There's just it's more crazy. bad PR for both involved. Yeah. It is. It is. It, it's typical that it relates to Fallout 76, though, isn't yeah. it? I mean, yeah. it, it couldn't be it's... any other game. No. Well. Oh. So you won't be buying the helmet? Maybe. I thought you might be interested, actually. I'm good, I haven't. You, 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 might, be, you might be the only one point. getting in touch. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Excuse me, GameStop, do you have any of those mould helmets? Send me one. Yeah. I'll wear it on the I'll show even, next I'll week. I'll even pay you double. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that, that was a stupid story you wanted to touch on. And we got one more, one silly, more story. silly story. Well, yeah. silly-ish, I mean. Well, I mean... Depends it, how you view it, doesn't it? It says you, People can, eat, view it it says you can eat the packaging. That, it's I mean, fairly silly. silly. Yeah. But anyway... Football Manager 2020 packaging is recycled, recyclable, even vegan. I don't know why that's the uh, I'm not sure. headline, but that is what the headline is. Announced by studio director Miles Jacobson in a YouTube video about climate change, the package, the packaging consists of recyclable shrink wrap, recyclable cardboard, and a recyclable paper manual. It's all printed with vegetable-based ink, and as Jacobson said, so if you do want to eat the packaging, it's vegan. Yeah. Well, I've got. I mean, will I, you be eating the Football Manager 2020 packaging? I mean, maybe after a bad result or two. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it could get to you. I think we all. I mean, if we'd have bought FIFA physically, I wish it would have been because I would have been tempted to eat it. Yeah. Well, I've got. At I, least I, nibble. I, on the that's edges. a good point. How many people actually buy Footy Manager to eat the packaging? Physically. Well, to eat the, <laughs> to eat the packaging. That's gonna go. Those numbers are gonna go up. Yeah. But most people just get off Steam. Yeah, yeah. Well, There's probably the odd 10, 20,000 people that probably still buy it. Yeah. Physically, you see it in this game or something. I think games still advertise it, don't they? It's so. an expensive meal. Yeah. It is. But Vegan there'll be, food there'll is be expensive, people. But... There will be people yeah. that eat it as well. I mean, well, definitely. Like, there'll yeah. be YouTube videos soon of people yeah. eating it. There already will be. I might actually search for that. <laughs> well, I'll see if I'm not yet. Yeah, the game's not out, but. Um, I think you should work physically now just to test it out and do it on the, on the I think we, yeah, I think we should do it for <laughs> the loser of the quiz that's coming. Oh, has to eat Footy Man's packaging. <laughs> It might be nice. <laughs> no, I know, it's absolutely it's disgusting. I bet it's minging. I know. I bet it's minging. We've got a, a quiz coming up, so that's a little spoiler, yeah. I guess. That's going to be a new part of the show, but yeah. whoever loses either has to wear a mould. <laughs> a mould helmet or eat a pretty man packet. I mean, we don't yeah. have either. But, but we can get yeah. our hands on one. Probably. Well, probably not. Yeah. not yeah. Maybe not the mould. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, I just a quick point on this, though. I see... I don't know. I think we've all got maybe slightly different views on this because I think mm. we had different views. I think it's a good thing, really. I mean, it's yeah, a, I mean for climate change, it's great. Yeah, it's I mean, good. you know, there is. I mean, all games are plastic, aren't they? Mm. At the end of the day, mm. I mean, you know, that's not a good thing. So it's good that they're trying something new. Yeah, it's just. I just the cynic in me <laughs> wonders whether this is a market employee though. Well, you can be the one to test it though, mate. <laughs> no, I don't mean the eatable packaging. Is this really? <laughs> no, I don't mean the eatable packaging. I mean more... it's actually not vegan. Like it's just a. Book, like. Oh yeah, probably. <laughs> but I wonder whether it's he's getting this out there to say, look how good you know, Smalls mm. Interactive looking after the kids. Are the, is, is it a market employee? To or be are fair, they genuinely care? To be fair, yeah. is it a as well though? Maybe? Because they don't rely on physical copies uh, sales anymore. No, true. Yeah. They can do stuff like this. Yeah. Because it might boost that little. Yeah. Bit. Nothing bad can come. No. From well, I think yeah, in, it's, in, it's in the article he does it? say, doesn't he? He hopes more people. Mm. You know, he wants it to be an industry standard soon. Which I mean, mm. it, yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if it is. At some point. I don't blame them. No. Why not? Um, I mean, it's a, it's a good movement, you know, it's a yeah. good change, so it's just funny that it's edible. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, that is I literally mean, the only reason we're covering it. You know, I like my physical games. I, 
I like the fact they're in plastic bottles because it's like, I don't know. I, I don't liked know, them like, even I mean, more. I thought you were going to say yes, I, I like eating them. I like eating my plastic, you know, the plastic cases. is delicious. So I'm not sure what that's oh, for. Wow. No, in all seriousness, I, you know, I do like having the physical game. Mm. So I'm not sure if they're going to be all papery. Maybe it won't be quite as, you know, it might fall mm. apart maybe more. But... <laughs> What paper do you know that just falls apart? No, you know what I mean. You've seen like cardboard sleeves of games. The, the edges get a bit yeah. over time. Yeah, they get a bit mouldy. Mouldy. There you go. <laughs> you know, they Not get mouldy. No, but they get mouldy in the rip a little bit. So maybe I don't know if that's going to be great. But yeah, yeah. I mean, I, mean, I, I don't know if they can pick that up, but that's oh, yeah. Miles Jacobson not really yeah. <laughs> soon, soon. Second they... time today. Oh, I've seen it twice now. Oh, oh, wow. yeah. oh well, so of course, but, what can you do? Yeah, I mean, it's an interesting one. Yeah. We'll have to look out for. We will see how that goes. Um, anyway, that brings the end to the show, so thanks for listening as ever. Uh, you can follow Checkpoint Reach podcast on social media on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Check Reach Pod. You can also follow us on YouTube, Checkpoint Reach Podcast. Uh, like, subscribe, and comment below as that will really help the channel to grow. You can also follow the guys on social media. I've, for some reason, I've pointed at Perks and looked at Sud. <laughs> but we'll start with Sud. Where can they follow okay, you? Uh, yeah, it's just Twitter for me, so at David Tenspud. Love your stuff. What about you, Perks? At JG Perks. Love your stuff. And you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Leld, L E L 3 Ds, add a 9 on the end for Instagram. Yep, so that brings the end to our show. Uh, We'll be back next week with another podcast, and uh, yeah, we're looking forward to it. Have a good week. Bye. Bye, guys.